Hi everyone, Lisa Haven here. Well, the New York Times is finally putting on their tin foil hat. <laughs> At least uh, it took quite a long time, but check out this report from the New York Times, usually fake news. I am like, my jaw is dropping that they're actually reporting uh, some truthful information, which look, before I show you that report, I wanna say this. If they didn't share some truths, uh, then they wouldn't have any skimp of legitimacy, but they do tend to share articles that are true because they have to stand on some kind of firm ground. Uh, but here's their tinfoil, tinfoil hat article uh, put out on New York Times on December 16th, and it's titled Glowing Auroras and Black Money, The Pentagon's Mysterious UFO Program. So now the report goes on to detail, and it's a full-fledged admission that the Pentagon is studying UFOs, something we all know they've been doing with Project Blue Book uh, and other of those. In, it goes on to state that in the 600 billion annual defense department budget, the 22 million spent on advanced aerospace threat identification program was almost impossible to find. Why is that? Because obviously it's something that the Pentagon wanted hidden. For years, the program investigative uh, reports of unidentified flying objects, according to the Department of Defense officials, interviews with program participants and records obtained by the New York Times. It was run by a military intelligence official, Louis Elizondo, on the fifth floor of the Pentagon C-Ring, deep within the building maze. And if you've ever been or, or, or around the Pentagon, you know it is that just that, a maze. But the Department of Defense has never, or the Defense Department, has never been acknowledged or has never been acknowledged the existence of the program, which it says it shut down in 2012. That was, this particular program was referenced to be open in 2007. But its backers say that while the Pentagon ended funding for the effort at that time, the program remains in existence. For the past five years, they say, officials with the program have continued to investigate episodes brought to them by service members while also carrying out their duties there at the Department of Defense. Now, this was largely funded by the Nevada Democrat, Mr. Harry Reid, who I don't particularly care for, uh, but it was not funded by him, but um, it was largely uh, requested. He requested the funding for this particular program, saying if there is something in outer space or something going on we need to study that now what I want to show you here and I'm gonna throw this up in the little corner here is a video of an N a Navy F a 18 Super Hornet um, and an unknown object there's an encounter between the two you can see the verbiage there uh, being uh, talked about back and forth by the two pilots there but that is one of the things that was discovered in part of this program uh, but you can see it's an unidentified flying object and they don't say whether or not they think it's a UFO or whether or not they they know what it is they just say it's unidentified now here's another thing that I want to throw on this pile because look if the, if the New York Times is finally starting to admit uh, that the Pentagon is delving into these particular projects, specifically UFOs, which I believe, obviously, there is an existence. Now, I take the biblical stance. You have the Nephilim, the fallen angels, and all of that interesting things, and I think they all play a part in that. But here's the thing. When, uh, when mainstream media starts to admit it, that means they could be close, at least to some kind of disclosure in the very near future. They have to ready the public before they drop something like that. And I think that's the reason for a lot of movies, like things that you see on TV, like the X-Files, uh, also the new movies, Ancient Aliens, and all the alien artifacts that they're starting to bring up. Be very leery, because some of the things that I believe they will say is aliens are our gods, aliens, planted us here. Pam Spermia, beware of that. It isn't true because then must one must ask the question, well, who created the UFO? Who created the alien? So it's a never ending circle. That's why I stand on the biblical concept that God created us. God is uh, who made that. So don't believe that if that ever does uh, come out by that, but by people in, in the mainstream media. So just a heads up there. But one other thing I wanna show you is FBI Vault. This is a government or a government linked organization. Obviously the FBI has lots of files that they wanna look into, but I'm gonna show you on the screen here. They have an FBI paranormal file. You can see keywords such as the one I have highlighted, flying saucers. This is just in the past uh, couple of years or so, but they update this 
and they always have um, information that comes forward to the FBI because people will call the FBI and reports unidentified flying objects. And they've got a lot of this in the file, similar to the video that I showed you just a moment ago. So there's your proof, there's your evidence, something that I've said for many, many years that the government has studied this through multiple projects um, I've even gone through some of those particular documents in detail here on my channel. But anyhow, I uh, wanted to bring that up to you because if New York Times fake news is finally admitting it, well, we could be seeing something soon on the horizon. But nobody really knows when or if they ever will. But it's something to just have a heads up about. Anyhow, wanted to bring you the latest on all of that. Uh, I love you guys. Hope you're having an amazing Christmas. Well, thanks again for tuning in. Um, don't forget, check out my partner, uh, virtualshield.com forward slash Lisa Haven. Please make sure you are on a VPN, something that scrambles that IP address. So instead of, if somebody looks up using IP chicken, right, ipchicken.com will look for an IP address on your computer. Well, with VPN, uh, if you pull that up, say on IP chicken, and you have that IP address, you can say, oh, he's from this area or this area. You can look up specifically where your computer is at. Well, if you scramble that with the VPN, it won't read where you are, it'll read in another state. That's what you want. Anyhow, and, and again, remember, uh, Virtual Shield does throw away the files. So if the, if the government comes knocking on the door and wants your information and what you Googled, it's all gone. Anyhow, thanks again for tuning in. I'm Lisa Haven, signing out.